Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayabiab and you're watching Star News Live. Here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. The Honolulu Medical Examiner's Office has identified the 61-year-old pedestrian who died after being struck by a car in Nanakuli Tuesday night. Jimmy K. Nunuha of Waianae was struck by a Dodge sedan shortly after 6 p.m. as he tried to cross Farrington Highway near Black Rock Beach Park. Honolulu police said the car driven by a 44-year-old man was traveling east on the highway when it struck the pedestrian who was not in a marked crosswalk. Police said vehicles traveling westbound on the highway stopped to let the pedestrian pass, but the man ran into the path of the Dodge. Paramedics treated Nunuha at the scene and took him in critical condition to a hospital where he died. Police said speed, alcohol, or drugs were not involved in the incident. This is Oahu's 48th traffic-related fatality in 2020, compared with 46 at the same time last year. Hawaii health officials today reported two coronavirus-related deaths and 108 new infections statewide today. One death was on Kauai and the other on Oahu. The Kauai death was announced on Tuesday by Kauai County officials who said that the man had no history of travel. Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami is seeking Governor David Ige's permission to opt out of the state's pre-travel testing program because of a recent increase in cases on the island. Kawakami says Kauai does not have the hospital beds and health care needed to handle a big spike in cases. If Ige agrees to the mayor's request, any arriving traveler to Kauai would have to quarantine for 14 days, even with a negative coronavirus test. The two latest fatalities, meanwhile, bring the statewide death toll to 235. State officials also said today that there are 1,340 active infections in the islands, most of which are on Oahu. Much of Kauai spent today under a flash flood warning as heavy rains drenched the northern and eastern half of the island. The National Weather Service said rain was falling at up to three inches per hour, causing flash flooding over the northern end of the state. Kuhio Highway at Hanalei Bridge was closed this morning due to the flooding, and the Hawaii Department of Education closed Hanalei Elementary School, which the American Red Cross used as an emergency shelter. The heavy rain was expected to taper off later today. Forecasters say the rest of the state may see a few lingering downpours today with high temperatures in the 80s and lows in the 70s. And drier trade wind weather is expected for Thanksgiving Day and the holiday weekend. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Have a happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you again on Friday.